guys, we have Bradley Heights joining us at Real Talk Media Studios, and I'm so excited to have him back in the studio with me. So welcome, my friend. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's a I, pleasure. I love having you, and I want to dive a little bit more into real estate with you. Like, Absolutely. what else do we do we ever talk about, right? There we go. <laughs> but I want to talk about the importance of real estate agents to mm -hmm. the clients, right? Mm -hmm. And what should a client be looking for when they want to hire a real estate agent? Okay, great, great question, especially for uh, buyer's agents. Yes. And one of the things about buyer's agents is, um, if you just look at the ones that I've worked with, they will actually tell you what they're looking for. <laughs> right, and okay. there's there's three things um, that they really start with that are the, the key starting points. And one is um, most buyers, they really don't know where they should shop. So in our county, we've got three million people living here. And just in North County, there's like 700,000 homes. So if you try to figure out which home, there's a lot to try to sort through. So if you can find a real estate agent that has um, a video series that essentially will get a drone and get some footage and fly you over different areas. You can get a feel for what area might be a fit for you. That's a great So idea. you fly over it and you can see what the parks look like, what the schools look like, the age of the housing, what the shopping centers are all like. And so right off the bat, you could be like, you know what, that area looks like it was built kind of a ways back. I don't really like it. These areas were built, you know, sooner. I like that. Um, and that really keeps... Um, buyers from doing what I call the shiny object chasing method, which is where you see a house, you're like, oh, that looks great, and it's in Chula Vista. And then you see another house, that looks great, it's in Vista. Vista and Chula Vista are very different places. So um, instead of buying a house or getting a house that the house looks great, but the area doesn't fit the school district or the drive patterns, instead, they spend some time trying to find um, the right area and then the second thing that that really leads into is once they find the right area, um, that leads to which neighborhood within that area. And if you look at some of the areas here, you'll have 100 different neighborhoods in one area. So you look at it and you're like, oh my gosh, where, where do I start? Having a color map that shows each of the neighborhoods is super helpful because uh, neighborhoods are actually set up by price point and by square footage. So you can look at 100 different neighborhoods on this map and you can say, oh, you know what, there's six of these that fit what I'm looking for. And so that way when something pops up, uh, you already know and you've already seen those six neighborhoods and perhaps gone and visited them. So when something pops up, you're like, that's it, that's the right place and you can make, make a quick offer. Um, and then the third thing in terms of offers is when the time comes to make this offer, um, a buyer really needs to know what's happening in the marketplace because sometimes people come in, they just don't know that there are you know, 70 people looking at the same place and there's 15 offers and it's going to go 10% over and having a regular market summary that they can watch on a monthly basis and say, okay, where is this market at? Helps them to come in and be like, okay, like right now, for instance, we're in a really tight market and if something is offered at a certain price, there's a good chance you're going to need to go over that. So knowing that right up front helps you to think, okay, can I do it? Will I do it? How are we going to, how are we going to, um, Put together this offer so that it makes sense for for uh, both parties okay i love what you offer for people coming in from out of town like that drone offer i mean i've moved to many different states mm -hmm. and it's so hard i mean you do have google maps that helps you a little bit but it doesn't still give you an actual feel of the neighborhood where a drone is a video right you may see oh there's a costco maybe a mile down the street but to actually see what is going on in your neighborhood i think that drone service is amazing I mean, any other services that you can think of that you would provide for an out-of-state buyer? You know, that is an excellent thing for an out-of-state buyer. Right. So out-of-state buyers, and right now about 25% of the buyers coming in are out-of-state, so right. they're buying something sight unseen. Right. And, and that's nerve-wracking. That's totally nerve-wracking. I mean, think, think about, when you live here, you think, oh, that's fine, I kind of get the area. But if you think about a different city and what it's like, you don't know if you're buying in the wrong part of town. Um, so having an agent who you really spend some time with, right? You're not bumping from one agent to the next. One specific buyer's agent that knows you and that you go to see the houses each time is super helpful. And then that agent should come into the house and they should have a FaceTime video. So you're walking through, they make an appointment, you're walking through the place and they're both showing you things that you wanna see. Mm -hmm. And they're also looking for things like, hey look, there's, you know, there's power lines visible from the backyard. They can't see that, but I'm gonna tell them that. Um, so that's super helpful, yes. get to know those people. And then the drone piece is excellent if you can give that. And that is that um, you can, your agent can fly 
a drone live. So you can send a drone up in the air and look at the yard and look around it. And when you're looking around where, where the house is, you can see neighbors. You can see if the neighbor next door has a house that's, or excuse me, has a car that's up on jacks. Right, or, or a dog in the backyard exactly. that's barking and it's been barking exactly. 10 minutes straight. Or, yep. Right, or traffic patterns, right? Yep. You can see if there's a school down the street, oh goodness, my street is going to be clogged with cars for yep. if, from 3 to, you know, 4 o'clock. Or So that's so cool. That drone experience is yep. great. Yep. Um, how about when you're wanting to hire a real estate agent, any special services that they should provide? Well, one of the main ones is, so once your offer has been ex accepted, uh, the next thing is to do a home in inspection. Right. And the home inspection piece, if you can find a buyer's agent who actually understands home systems, it makes a huge difference. Because um, often what happens is buyers come in and something's wrong. There's always something wrong, right? It's a used house. And they freak out. They, uh, the buyers will be like, oh my gosh, like there's this crack in the stucco on the sides of the, of the windows outside and the place is going to fall down. Well, a buyer's agent who has some experience with house systems will say, you know what, actually that's very typical. If you want, you know, we can bring someone in to double check it, but just so you know, that's very common and it's not likely to be a deal, a deal killer. Um, I just had one that I was selling recently where the buyer's agent did not know systems and they came in to the, to the place and the place was, look, was looking good and they were doing the home in inspection and a lot of the switches didn't seem to turn on any lights in the, in the rooms and they assumed that, oh my gosh, the wiring in the wall must be like broken or eaten by rats or something and mm -hmm. we need to put in all new wiring and they wanted all this money. Well, bottom line was the outlets, you just needed to take them off and reconnect the wires. The prior tenant had taken them off and just needed to put them back on. It wasn't a big deal, mm -hmm. but without understanding those home systems, um, it ended up being a bigger deal than it should have been. Um, but so that's one piece. And then the other piece is if you can get it, this is kind of a, a bonus, but find an agent who will pay for your home inspection. It's $500 to $800 and why not? If they'll pay for that for you and make sure that they understand the systems and get you through that, that just saves you saves you money money later. Right. Yeah. Okay. Any last tips for buyers that you'd like to provide? I mean, you're a wealth of information. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> and very helpful too. You're welcome. Um, I think the last tip is, um, as a buyer, you need to be thinking about two different searches. You're probably comfortable with one search, which is, I'm looking for houses. You're probably doing that, that now. The second search is you need to look for a realtor. So what can be frustrating is if you suddenly find the right house, right? It pops up. Well, suddenly you need to find a realtor. And it's like um, if you had to go into a court to go before a judge and on the way in, you're looking on the courthouse steps for a lawyer. That's the wrong time. You want to do it earlier. Um, so another thing that a lot of people don't know, uh, a lot of doctors, um, accountants, financial people, they work with colleagues that just do a good job. They may or may not like them, but the level of quality and service is very high. With real estate, unfortunately, that's not always what, what the case is. There's a lot of folks that just jump in and either they don't know what they're doing or they don't care enough to do a good job. Um, so when you're looking for someone, look for someone who you actually work with directly. If a person's going to pass you off to an assistant or refer you to an agent you don't know, um, or send you just some impersonal website and say, oh, just, just go online, you can figure it out. That's not the kind of service that you, that you need. You need more hands-on direct service. And one thing to remember is like, you're gonna have about $50,000 of earnest money on the line. And if you're in the process of buying, you decide you don't wanna purchase it, that agent's actions are going to determine whether or not you get your fifty thousand dollars back. Um, big so it's time. kind of a big deal, right? So the agent, your buyer's agent, is going to be free for you. The seller is going to pay for it. Take some time, do some homework, take them for a test drive. If it works out, great. You've got your agent figured out. There's lots of things they can do early, um, and if it doesn't work out, you can select someone else. That way, you're not finding yourself selecting a weak agent at a at a weak moment. So you recommend possibly interviewing an agent? Absolutely. Right, before hiring Do lots them. of research on them. Okay. Well, we thank you it. so much. It was a wonderful conversation with you today and great information to be had. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank pleasure. you. Thanks for joining us at All Real right. Talk Media Studios.